my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to take a look at CapCut video editing software and in particular how we can use CapCut's auto beat function um, so I can set um, some slides to music so that the slides change on the beat of the music. So before we start just to familiarize ourselves I've opened up CapCut I'm using the free version. I'll put a link to um, CapCut in the comments below if you, if you haven't um, tried it already. It's, uh, it's well worth a go. It's a great piece of uh, software and it's free. There is a, there is a pro version as well, um, which has some more utilities, but the, you can do an awful lot with the free version. Anyway, so um, just to familiarize ourselves now with this, um, I have imported 12 images. They are um, some images I just generated in um, Stable Diffusion AI. And I have downloaded a piece of royalty-free music from um, pixabay.com. I'll also put a, a link to their website in the, in the comments as well. Okay, so let's uh, make a start. What I'll do is I'll first um, add the backing track to the um, timeline and then we'll take a look at that first and then we'll add the slides so to add the audio track which is here i'm just going to click on the plus sign there add to track and there you can see that the um, audio track has been added to the timeline what i'm going to do next is if i come down onto this line here you see this little flag there and you see auto beat I'm going to click on left click on that and I've got two options beat one or beat two if I select beat one you'll see those little dots at the bottom they represent the beat of the music now if I was to select beat two that would give me not only the primary beats the music but any incidental beats in between as well however for this demo to keep it nice and easy, I'm just going to select beat one. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to increase the size of the timeline just to make it a little bit easier for me to work with. And I'm going to bring it around about there. So it's almost halfway. Okay, so that's the audio file in the timeline. I'm now going to um, add the images. So to add my 12 images, I'm quite simply, I'm going to click on the first. I'm going to hold down shift and click on the last image. So I've selected all 12 images and then I'm just going to click on the add to track button there on this last image here. And you can see now that the images have all been added to the timeline as well. Now, once that's been done, all we need to do is really, we, we want to move the images to line up with the beat. So if I just select, this is the first image here. If I come to the end of the image, you'll sometimes see when you work with um, in CapCut, sometimes you'll see this icon here with the little um, handles on either side. That's the one you want. Sometimes you may see a, a cursor line there without the handles but we want to increase or decrease the length of the image we want the icon with the two handles like we've got here and I'm just going to left click on that and I'm going to bring that down in line with the first beat of the music which you can see there and, and as I come towards it you can see that it's, it's snapping to it to make it easier for me so that's the first image um, lined up with that beat there. I'm now going to click on the next image, do the same. I'm going to come back, make sure I've got the handles on that cursor there. And I'm going to bring that in line with that. Same for the third. Bring it across. Let go. For the fourth. Bring it across as it snaps, let go. Okay, I'm now just going to do that for the 
uh, remaining images and I'll come back in just a second. Okay, so I've done all 12 images now. They've all been um, lined up with the um, music beat. You'll see here as we look at the audio line that the audio actually runs way past the length of the images. So what I'm going to do is scroll across to the end of music and click on that. I want to get to, again, I want to make sure that I've got those handles on that line there. I'm going to left click and I'm going to bring that end of that music back to fit in with the slides. And there we go. And we'll see there, you can see there that it's, it will snap to it. And we've now got the music in line with the end of the images. Now that music there as it is would, um, would finish quite abruptly. So I want to add a fade out. So as we can see here under the basic tab here, I can add a fade out just by using a slider here. So I'm going to give that about four seconds. And you can see here the way this has changed now. So I've now got a fade out at the end of this um, timeline. So let's go back to the beginning. So to get to the front of the timeline, if I press the home key on my Windows laptop, that's going to take me back to the beginning. And if I come down to this scroll bar here, just so that I can see that as well, the pressing the home key will bring the timeline cursor back to the beginning. Um, but sometimes you may you may need to use the scroll bar as well to to see where you are. And um, what I'm hoping now is we'll play the music and the images with any luck will change on the beat of the music. So uh, let's give that a go. So I'm just going to press play. addition that we can make if we want to. We could add a, trans, a transition um, between the slides as well. So if I, again, if I press the um, home key and oops, let's do that again, press the home key and I'll just work my way back to, to the beginning. So if I want to add a trans transition between the different slides, um, we get plenty of um, free transitions from CapCut. So just come up to here at the top where it says Transitions, and you have a whole selection of different transitions that you can use. If the ones you are looking at is Mark Pro, then you have to be subscribed to the Pro version of CapCut. Um, otherwise, you can use the ones that are, are not marked. I tend to use, I go to the Basic, and I quite like this one. I use this quite a lot um, on most of my YouTube videos. I think it's quite nice. So if I want to add this transition to the slides, all I do is I'll come down. I want to add the timeline marker to the first slide and then come to my transition, click on the plus sign and you see the transition is added. I'll do that to a couple more just to show you. So again, back up plus. And I'll do one more. So move that across. And you can, you see on here with the transitions, you've got those handles again. I can drag that outwards or even inwards to, to make the transition longer or shorter if, if I want to. Um, okay, but just to dem demonstrate these four transitions to, to finish off, 
let's press the uh, home key again get my cursor down to the beginning and let's press play and there you see the transitions have been added as well and this this whole um task of setting the music to be is is taking us for what uh, a few minutes to do so very easy to do in CapCut very nice piece of software I strongly recommend it uh, trying it if you haven't already and um, that's pretty much um, as much as I, I think I can I can show you on this so uh, I hope you found this useful thank you for your time and goodbye